I'm going to show you in this video 100% proof positive that this Asbury Revival thing is completely, first and foremost, unscriptural. Secondly, satanic. I'm going to actually show you uh, the proof of it. Okay, let's watch this little video here. This guy here, his father was a very satanic, very evil man. I'm sure he's following in his footsteps. Pat Robertson was a Freemason, among many other things. Very evil man. But uh, let's watch. We've got a great good news story to start off. It's been a week since the regular Wednesday chapel at Asbury University in Kentucky. Well, it turned into something far more. It turned into the manifest presence of God. God has been moved. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Um, again, see, this is part of Satan's agenda. You get the people to such a point where they don't even read the Bible anymore. They don't know what the scriptures say. Oh, it's the manifest power of God. No, it's not. No, it's not. There's no scripture for this. Where does the scripture say that there would be revivals in the end times before the body of Christ is called out, before the Antichrist is unleashed and everything else? There's no revivals. There's no revivals. Let's continue. Moving among the students and faculty and people are traveling to the university to join in this move of God. Well, one student told CBN News he prays this revival when, will encourage churches and pastors and stir up a hunger for the Lord. Wendy Griffith brings us the story. Uh, how about stirring up a hunger for the uh, Word of God? You see, the old-time revivals back in the 1800s, it would turn people to the book, the King James Bible. Are they using it there? Of course not. Are they following it? Of course not. The Holy Spirit of truth, when he comes, he guides into all truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Easy to figure this stuff out if you're a Bible believer. Okay? These people are wicked, lost devils. They're invoking the spirit of Antichrist. I'll prove it. Continue watching. Story from Wilmore, Kentucky. The revival here at Asbury is now in its sixth night, as hundreds of people have come from near and far to just enjoy the presence of God, even though it's... The presence of God. I thought the Bible says that the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Acts chapter 7. Presence of God in there. Uh, uh, no. Almost midnight. This auditorium is still packed with people that are still coming in. Uh, okay. Uh, what about the warnings of immodest dress? That's the Lord in there. He's dealing with that. You know. Okay. Oh, and by the way, the uh, revivals, the real ones from the 1800s that happened when everybody was using the King James Bible and women dressed like ladies, you know, covered themselves, modest apparel, uh, like the Bible teaches to do. Um, those revivals shut down bars. It stopped sin in the area among the lost people out there. That was the real power of God. How many bars are being shut down by this nonsense right here? Yeah. None. Let's continue. In the last two evenings, we've estimated well over 3,000 people that are here and at these different locations uh, to worship the Lord. Were you prepared for this? No, there is no, there's no playbook for this. We're still trying to create some space for what's happening here. There's no playbook for this? <laughs> Could you get more obvious? Uh, there's no playbook. Uh, shouldn't it line up with the scriptures? Oh, that's right. There's no playbook. We just we just go with the feelings and emotions. Whatever the devil spirits tell us to do. I'll prove it. Just give me a minute. And so that's a delicate balance, and we're trying to manage that as thoughtfully and faithfully as we can and just steward what's happening on campus. Faithfully to what? Not the word of God. <laughs> skeptical at first just because growing up with my church we never had anything like this and so I just wasn't used to the idea of a revival um, but the longer it's gone on I've realized that if God wants it to happen it's going to happen. My prayer is that this will encourage churches, encourage pastors, encourage just believers um, and just stir up a hunger for the Lord because again it's not, it's not about hunger for the Lord, hunger for the Lord it's about the Bible okay his word is ex exalted above his name Asbury is about Jesus. The fire that started here at Asbury is reportedly... The fire that started here at Asbury. 
uh-oh, uh, there's a problem. Um, there's no New Testament fire, okay? The cloven tongues like as a fire, right? The baptism that's, you know, with water, with the Holy Spirit, excuse me, and with fire, the fire is talking about hell. The fire that started here, oh, there will be fire. <laughs> Guarantee that. Eternal fire. Oh. Spreading as students from nearly two dozen other college campuses have come here to take part in the services. And what God started here a week ago. God started here a week ago. We're not sure what this is. We don't really know. But we know that God started it. And by the way, the fire thing, um, you're going to see the really satanic part of that coming up here is showing no signs of stopping. Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Asbury University in Wilmore, Kentucky. Well, apparently it's infectious. Lee University is already seeing a similar move. I know of many universities sending delegations there in hopes that they can catch it and bring it back. Uh, and <laughs> you can catch it? Okay. Uh, yeah. Continue. And if you want to catch it, I think it's online, so you can watch. You don't have to go to Kentucky for it. And realize this, God is always all around us. He is always waiting for us. We keep asking. Yeah, the prince of the power of the air is the one that you're talking about there, partner. Asking him, when are you going to pour yourself out over us? And he. When are you going to pour yourself out over us? I forget where that's at in scripture. Paul, when are you going to pour yourself out on me? Okay. Keep saying, well, when are you going to receive it? When are you going to take the time to come and just sit at my feet and let me pour into you? You can have revival every day. You can have Jesus 24 hours a day. It all depends on... Uh, uh, you can have Jesus 24 hours a day. Uh, hello, I do. I'm born again. Part of his body. You can have Jesus 24 hours a day. Huh? I do. I do have him. Here's the solution. Here's what you have to do. Um, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? If you are, if you seek him first, then you'll find him. Well, we're going to have an in-depth. Uh, you seek him first, then you'll find him. Okay. Uh, I'm already born again. I don't need to seek him. Report on the Asbury Revival on Friday 700 Club. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We want to cover this and how it's going to spread. Uh, I, my prayer is this spreads uh, across the nation and around the world. I'm sure. If anything we need right now, we need more of Jesus. Uh, no, you need more of the Word of God. Because without the Word of God, you don't know who Jesus is. And satanic devils like these people can come along and deceive people into thinking you're worshiping Jesus and you're worshiping the Antichrist. You ask these devils, these modern Christian devils, you ask him about who Jesus is. He doesn't judge. He comes to bring peace. He's okay with people and their sin. They describe the Antichrist. They all do it. But what about this subject of revival? I did this sermon years ago. Okay, nine years ago. Is revival biblical? And I go into the whole thing, showing from the scriptures, there's no revival. Okay, this whole thing of revival in the last days and whatever else, there were some revivals in the 1800s, I'll grant that. In the last days, not on your life. No. It's completely unscriptural. Let's show one of these uh, little charismatic cuckoo birds here. And, it, and he's, oh, you know, women gets freed. Women get freed from demonic oppression. Woman get freed. Uh, wouldn't it be woman got freed? Uh, but let's not be too picky about English here. But he's all into this, thinks it's real and whatever else. There's a woman laying here on the ground and she's convulsing and, and a woman casts the devil out. Chapter and verse, book chapter and verse, please. Uh, no women cast out devils that I've ever seen. Show me one. Jesus, the Apostle Paul. The other apostles, no women. Where are women casting out devils in the scriptures? Oh, that's right. We get rid of the scriptures. We don't. We don't have a playbook. That's right. Uh huh. But listen. Listen to what the woman says. Okay. Listen to what this woman that's casting out the devil. Listen to what she says. Here it comes.
fire on her body now, she said. Fire on her body now. Listen to what the woman does. Hear that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're, you're stupid. Okay, the supernatural life, Daniel there. If that's your name, Daniel, you're stupid. You need to get saved. You don't understand salvation. Yeah. It's, she's screaming. It's called impartation. This witch that's there, and she says, fire on her body now. She's imparting devil spirits. It's witchcraft. And you're too stupid to understand that because you don't have the Holy Spirit of God in you. You use Antichrist Vatican versions of the Bible, and then you think that the Holy Spirit's for you. Okay. Fire on your body now. All right. Um, listen to what Benny Hinn does here. Listen to him. Benny Hinn, this video here, it's an old video 15 years ago. He's manifesting devils. He's growling and he's saying fire and fire. He's putting fire in the, on these people. It's a, it's basically just a code way of saying uh, devils go into them. Okay. It's witchcraft. That's all I can say. Listen to this. Ooh, lift your hands and pray. Fire. Fire. Fire on little Joshy. Fire on my little boy. Fire. Fire on these kids. Get yeah, that's uh, that's real spiritual there. I mean, you, the Apostle Paul did that. He growl and he'd go on these kids. <laughs> yeah. It's, he just manifests devil spirits and he's stupid charismatics are standing there. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so wicked. Let's continue a little bit more here. My wife up here. Bring the little girl here. Bring her. Fire on little Lily. Lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Um, don't remember seeing that in the Bible either. These girls come here, Jesse. Fire! 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 Fire on little Tasha, fire! Pick up the girls! Come here, Kyle, come back here, Kyle! Fire! 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 Get his daddy up here! Mary, get your husband up here. Okay, so uh, that's what you see there. Right? But the real powerful one, though, is this one. I just have to throw this in at the end just for fun. Now that's the real power right there. Enough of that, but uh, this Asbury revival thing, um, yeah. Uh, Trying to create some space. Uh, completely satanic, completely evil. Uh, there's no scripture for this, none. I mean, the time will come when they will not endorse sound doctrine, all right? Um, in the last time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. It goes on and on. Show me from the scriptures where this is happening in the end times. It's not there. All right? It's not there. Uh, stand by the Bible. If you are part of this movement and you're going to defend it, then the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. You are an unsaved, probably devil-possessed, hellbound sinner. Quite frankly, thank you for watching.